My name is Charmaine Laws. On my right, um, on my far right, is my husband, Kent Laws. And in the middle, I have with me my daughter's heart recipient, Jose Fermania. <laughs> Um, it's Organ Donor Week kicking off today, and um, what we would like for Bermuda to know is that this week is an awareness week to inform the community of how important it is to donate organs and tissues. It has saved the lives of many people, and as a result, I have Jose standing next to me today because of the gift that was donated 12 years ago that of my daughter, Chardray Awana. Tell us a little bit about Chardray and the situation and you as a family being approached to, to have Chardray's Okay. It was 12 years ago my daughter met in a road traffic accident uh, on Boxing Day. And she was in the hospital six days before her passing on January the 1st. Before her passing, things didn't look really good and I was asked if I wouldn't mind being an organ donor. I mean, Shadra Iwana wouldn't mind being an organ donor. When they asked me, without question, I said, well, of course, yes. And they had asked me how many, what organs can they have? And I just said, take them all, whatever it is that you need. Well, after about the last year, October, I was invited to the New England Organ Donor Bank's recognition ceremony for the organ families, for the donor families, yes. And I had taken with me five letters to the aftercare nurse at the New England Organ Donor Bank for her to mail to each of Shadre Awana's recipients. It took me 11 plus years to write the letter. I've always wanted to meet someone or someone of her um, parts. And um, it took me 11 plus years to write the letter, hoping that someone will respond. And last month, the New England Organ Donor Bank sent me an email telling me that one person responded, and it was that of her heart recipient, Jose. And I was so grateful. I just, I was, oh, mercy. I cried and I laughed and I cried and I laughed. I was like, thank you, Jesus. One person did respond. As a parent of a, of a child, what message do you have to all the parents, all the families in the community to make them more aware and um, to welcome the idea of the little donor program? Well, what I would say to other families, if their loved one is in a position to be a, a donor, then by all means, I would say to the family, let make it happen because it saves the lives of so many people. I mean, had I said no, Jose wouldn't be standing right next to me today. And so there's others that live on after your child, your loved one has passed. So be an organ donor. When you're in the grave, you don't know what's missing and it's not servicing you at all. So if someone else could benefit by it, then I say by all means, be an organ donor. If you can, just touch a bit on how you sent out five letters. You only heard back from one. Yes. How does it feel knowing that the others didn't respond? And do you have any words of comfort or encouragement to the uh, organ recipients to encourage them? Or do you, do you sort of respect their privacy? No, I, I respect the privacy. I definitely respect the privacy of those that did not want to respond. However, my heart always wanted to know who received my daughter's heart. So it doesn't matter if anyone else responds.
my heartbeat is right here. <laughs> I might not have born him, but a part of my DNA is in him. And so that makes it worthwhile for me. If I never get to meet another one of her recipients, it's all right with me. I've met my son, <laughs> Jose. <laughs> Jose, tell us a little bit about the circumstance of putting in the need of a hard transplant that, uh, and the process that you went through. Okay, yeah, so um, when I was 18, I was diagnosed with um, cardiomyopathy. It was an uh, enlarged heart. So, you know, the two years after, you know, my, my heart got weaker and my heart muscles got weaker and um, and I was in need of a heart transplant. So they, you know, they put me up in a, in the list, in a donor, you know, organ donor list. And, um, and I received the heart uh, 2002, that's when her daughter, mm -hmm. Charmaine, passed away. Chadre. Uh, Chadre, sorry, yeah, <laughs> passed away. Um, so I received the heart, you know, I got the heart transplant and um, after that, you know, I've been doing very well since. You know, I got my life back, you know, and I'm very grateful, you know, for them, you know, what they did for me, you know, and... Um, when one receives a, a, a donated organ, how much information is given to you about the person that's the organ cancer? I didn't receive no information at all. Everything was confidential. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, re I sent a letter to the donor bank so I can get in contact with the parents, you know, of the recipient. So I tried and I didn't get any answer back. But um, after this, this 12 years, you know, I, they called me from the donor bank saying that, you know, she wants to get in contact with me, the mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's how we got in contact. You know, we had to send letters to each other through the donor bank mm -hmm. in order to get in contact. Yeah. Oh, it was grateful, yeah. It was a big, <laughs> big joy, a big blessing, yeah. 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 It was a big blessing, you know, and um, they did a big welcome party yesterday. And, I, you know, I met a lot of the family, and I was very grateful, very grateful, yeah. Yeah. yeah us men are very uh, good at talking about emotional stuff. Mm. I want to give you a few comments yeah, on what you've been through. Yeah, um, as as stepfather, I had time. I spent good, some good time with Chardray, so, you know, she was like a daughter I never had, and um, I miss her just as much as anybody else. And um, with the situation as it was, I was just start to support my wife in any choices or decisions that she made. I was with her, you know, and I did all that I could to support her. And when she talked about donating Chardray's organs, I said, hey. Um, I support you, you know, I fully support you. And um, I did a lot of the contacting via email between the organ bank for her, on her behalf, and her is Jose today, you know. <laughs> yeah. This is Lord's any final comments on encouraging other people to get involved in the whole program and, and what you've gotten out of it. Well, in my loss, I lost my daughter, but I gained a son. And for more information, tomorrow we will be set up from at TCD tomorrow. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday we will be at the Bank of Butterfield and you can come to TCD, the Bank of Butterfield or call Bermuda Organ Donor Tissue for more information. We have flyers out and brochures out that you can fill in with the information if you need more information. Be an organ donor. <laughs>